Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. Today's video is a collab with the lovely Sarah from Sarah Sparkles. And uh, yeah, Sarah is not only a she good friend, but she's also an admin over on Nail Sugar on my grip. So I will leave her channel link below. You can go check out what she has decided to do. We just kind of ran with the theme of pastels. Um, and with being near Easter time and that, I kind of decided to go with some florals. So um, I've got my alcohol out. It has been a hot minute from I have used these. Um, I don't know where they are from um, because they were a gift. So I have no idea, no idea. I cannot, I don't have a link to these, um, but you can obviously pick these up um, in various places. Um, so I'm just having a look through the colors and deciding which ones I want to do. I have done um, a couple of variations of this design both a blue and a lilac nail but I decided to just show you it um, sort of step by step with a blue because it's the same process this is pure cloud by Madame Glam a beautiful powdery blue this is going to be the base that I'm going to be working on so I'm going to do two coats of this here obviously curing between coats and uh, yeah and I will come back to you whenever we're about to put the matte top coat on Okay, so once that's all cured, now I'm going in with the matte top coat and we're going to be curing that as well too. The reason I'm doing this is because I'll be using the alcohol inks um, obviously on the matte surface. So I've chose this beautiful tealy, if it was tealy turquoisey blue sort of colour. It is beautiful, but what I'm basically doing is I am just kind of doing the outline of a flower using that brush. The only thing that I do find with using the brushes, um, you know, sort of like this straight out of the bottle is that there's very little control on them. But in a sense, this is it's quite good for this here because we're really kind of just going with a very naturally flowy shape. And the idea behind this design is working in layers. Um, so obviously we do what would be the, the sort of, you know, the, the back of the flower, the biggest part first, and then we kind of just go over again and again with our layers of alcohol ink. And obviously the closer that we get to the center of the flower, the darker that it is going to be. Um, so yeah, so this is super, super, super easy. Obviously you can wait till some of the layers dry. Don't worry if you have sort of more darker patches. In fact, I actually think that adds to the, I just think it gives it depth and texture and, you know, flowers in real life, you know, you've got that sort of shadowing and stuff. So I think this just adds a real arty kind of element to it. Um, I just love this. I absolutely love it. And it turned out lovely as well too um, with the purple. Look at that. It's so nice. So that's the purple as well too, um, along with the blue. I've done exactly the same process. And then going back in with some more matte top coat and I am just really gently floating that on. Give the alcohol a minute or two just to sort of sit and dry um, and try not to disturb it too much whenever you're applying the matte top coat. Okay, so now on to uh, adding some detail. This is an Alchemy Artisan paint in gold i have used um this is the first time i've actually used the gold but i have used their neon colors and some of the regular colors and they are beautiful paints to work with i actually done haley's at uh, one stroke flower course and um, i loved it i really 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 loved it um so i really do enjoy using this paint and what i love about it is whenever you cure you know it doesn't need top coated it's pretty much ready to go so I'm going to be using this gold just to kind of go around um, the sort of just to outline what would be the edging of our petals and you don't need to do this all the way around just kind of like here and there um, just sort of to highlight it a little bit and what I will say is that using a detailer brush keep your brush upright because you're going to get a really lovely lovely fine edge to it and that's kind of what you want to aim for and um, just that really fine edging because keep it really nice and dainty try not to make it too thick
and then I'm just doing the same here as well too on the uh, lilac flower as well sorry the purple flower with the lilac background I think this here is violet I'm not too sure I will double check um, the color there but um, again Madame Glam top coated in the matte and then I've used this purple alcohol ink just to do exactly the same process and again the gold just adds that little extra touch and then lastly then I wanted to go in and just add these little leaves I wasn't too sure whether or not to add them but I'm so glad as soon as I seen them I was like yes this just makes it really ornate and really ornate and and dainty looking um just added that final finishing touch to it so i really uh, yeah i really really like this and i'm glad i i added those little bits because i really wasn't too sure so um but whenever it was finished it was like yep i really like that little extra detail so um, and once that's done then we can go in for a final cure i'm just going to do exactly the same too as well here on the lilac and uh, yeah and then we will see the finished look Ta da there we go guys that is the finished look um our beautiful alcohol ink flowers with some gold accents over these really nice pastel colors i also added in some sandstone there just to kind of give you guys an idea of what it would be like as a full set and to bring in some of those lovely gold tones so which one's your favorite i think i'm kind of drawn to the tail um i really like it and normally i'm a purple gal but i love that lovely teal color especially with the gold the gold accents are really really nice so i hope you've enjoyed this let me know down below leave me a wee comment say hi and all that good stuff and don't forget to pop over to sarah's channel to see what she is creating with some pastel tones as well too um so it will be something really cute and fun so go check out her channel and i will see you all again next time thanks for watching bye